Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we opened this big hole and killed some of the um, guardians here. Uh, and then I said I have to wait for the uh, entanglement to wear off uh, because I used the sickening entanglement and I didn't want to go through the sickening entanglement because it does damage. Um, so I ran around in between episodes and I found my death <laughs> uh, without having saved game for quite a while. I had to redo a lot of things in between episodes. Uh, first of all, one time my pig died because of charisma damage, because of this stupid uh, whispers of madness. I'm really, I'm really disappointed pointed that this also affects my pig. I mean, it's the pig. It doesn't understand um, demons. I'm pretty about that and I don't think that my pig needs a charisma core more than zero although look at it it's more than zero the charisma of this pig so I had to restore and had to reload a few times but it didn't die out of charisma damage and now I've got it on charisma free so we can take at least one damage still um, when she, when he takes the damage, uh, we will restore some more charisma to him. But until then, I'll have to, um, we'll have to keep it up. So, yeah. Um, as I said, I died. Not here, <laughs> but I went back and was looking the other way from the hole from uh, from the brother of Staunton. <clears throat> um, and there was some, let's say, demon or whatever it was. It was level 30 or something. And it me more or less instantly. It was um, terrible. I won't go there <laughs> if I don't have to. Um, Anyway, now I saved game, and there are some some hidden rooms, and okay. First of all, uh, let's take this loot. And then we need a law religion check here. And she's the best in law religion and law arcana, I found out. Because this I found also in between episodes. This didn't kill me. Come on, don't die. Thank you. It does something here. I don't know what. But it gives us 90 XP and... Yeah, well... Also, go here, my dear. And there is also one trap. I have that from before. Thank you. Menu, I require your being able to have a knowledge arcana. You've got the plus 20 five or something so this is really easy yeah 24 and you just needed the 24 so yeah please don't move into the trap
thank you. Yay, we waited these traps. We wait no traps at all. On the other side, there is also a door. Uh, there is a door, but we can't open it. Uh, we have a 0% chance to open it, so we won't do this. And as this is not a sickening entanglement now, we can go through here as well. Uh, we found something. Where is it? Oh, there is a trap. <gasps> there is a key. That's good, I guess. Don't care. Take the sword. Wait, what? Take the sword of Vela. We take the sword of Vela. Yay, we got it. Wait, what? There is someone who tries to fight us. But where is he? Ah, behind us. Mm -hmm. Good that we are now inside the entanglement. <laughs> ah, there they come. They probably only came from the not, because there were these two that we could, um, um, could stop with the, with the knowledge of pain and law, religion. Thing. Okay, let's do a pit, because we can. Because this is really nice. Because they have to go through it. So we have a pit and some entanglement. Yeah, you move in this direction. Can you shoot at someone like on these two guys? Oh. Why are you shaken again? Oh, is there someone else? as well? No, there's no one. Len, just kill him. Kill the papa. Hi, just kill it. It's big and it's still entangled. Yay. Ah, yeah, I really, I really love it if you do damage to me. Red Bill, kill this Primarack. Kill this Primarack. Where did it come from? And your... Can you do this on these? And not hit any one of us? No, you can't. Of course not. So let's do an he heroism. No. Let's do a uh, haste, because everyone is together right now, so that's good. Ah, uh, should have fallen into the 
it. Pretty sure it should have. Kill the Primark. And you did. That's great. Okay. You. Healer. Healers. <laughs> Thank you. Make an anti... Um, An anti-fireball. Thank you so much. And the pig is out. It's in the house again. <laughs> Let's move like here. You'll just see air. Egg. Yeah, it's quite fine, so let's just move out here now. Would be nice if they'd come out here somehow. So we could kill them. Oopsie. Bit more of these guys. Regil. <laughs> yeah, probably. But on the other hand, they just gave you some scratches. So, okay. Um, how about this? This hits much more often. Then them. Did you just step into your own pit? Really? <laughs> oh, you're so stupid, Nanyo. Um, interestingly enough, okay, let's move like here, so you're in the center, and then let's do a prayer, because you can, and another mirror image, of course, you know, that's what I really love, that's stroke and all the stupid mirror images oh that's not nice like so that's with his mirror images really 
the pig went into the into the oh, pit. Oh come on! You must be joking. Okay, thank you. That's an elder frog, even. Is this also an elder frog? No, this is just a frog. What's the difference between an elder frog and a frog? They are both level 9 outsiders. He has an AC 21 and he has an AC 18. So we can hit the, the elder one not as easy. Let's do a smite on him. Just try to try to kill him anyway. So okay, you go back as well. Um, can you please just take a five foot step? Thank you. And then, can you please, um, what's it called? Do something. <laughs> delay poison. Why do I have delay poison? Can I do the freedom of movement on the pig? No, I can't, because it's not there. Okay, then use your two shots to get some mirror images done. Thank you. Oh, another mirror image. Okay. Elder frog or frog? Elder frog. And add elder frog. Thank you very much indeed. Another step back and then let's kill the next Babao. Wasn't too bad to do the haste, probably. So, okay, is there only the frog left? No, there's also a Primarach in the P. <laughs> really? Can we just build the Primarac then? Where is he? There he is. Mm -hmm. Every strike counted. He struck four times. And there it's gone. And let's move there. And Enyo is, of course, still in the trap. Elder Frog had an amulet. Ooh, fancy. Amulet of natural armor plus three. Yes, baby. Can my pig wear amulets? I'm pretty sure about that. He has an amulet. Amulet of Epiphany. This amulet of natural armor plus one additionally grants the barrier a plus four moral bonus on saving throws against poison. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, I totally forgot. I also got this ring of protection one. So we could give him an amulet of natural armor plus three. Hmm. What do you have? A plus one. So we would give you the Apothecary thing because the pig is always there, so it should get the best thing possible. 
And you are also a lot of time with me, although I think I've lost Rachel with me many, many times now. Also, you are often with me, but you don't need as high an AC because you're not attacked as often. You don't have a ring, so take this ring. You could wear this armor of dispersion. So what's the difference? Uh, this one gives uh, damage reduction free against piercing, and this one each time an enemy confirms a critical hit against the wearer of this plus two hide armor, that enemy is affected by the equivalent of the dispel magic spell. Hmm. Interesting. I think this is better. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Yeah, you have higher armor failure chance with that armor check penalty maximum dexterity plus four okay let's take this one is this better no this is the one he already had what's that breastplate plus two a higher armor rating but yeah okay mm. Let's see how fit of Vigor is better. Of course. Regil. Uh, you've got a dexterity plus five. I can't give you a half plate or something like that. There would be no dexterity left. But you have already a plus on the maximum dexterity one. That's terrible. Because you're fighting with dexterity, don't you? Although it says here you've got a plus five from for the dexterity to attack. That's interesting. It's really interesting. Because normally it shouldn't be like that if you have an armor that's so uh, no. I I will look in the next fight. And you you're you're already here again? Thanks a lot. So, journal, let's see, banner over the citadel. This banner was carried into battle by Iomide when she, she was still human. It has spent 70 years in the clutches of the demons. A symbol of the crusaders past disgrace. This, the time has come to recover it and steal a formidable weapon from the demons that ability to teleport. Interestingly, they just teleported inside here. Five book numbers mark the beginning of blah 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 blah. Whatever. It doesn't say what to do with the stupid sword. With the banner. It's not the sword, it's the banner. So, let's see. We've got the slimy key. Probably his. It's working on this door. Yes, it worked on this door. Good. Yeah, of course there is a trap. Because why shouldn't there be one? But we can go right. Oops. 
and another of these stupid things. Yeah, please do so. Oh, interesting. This time it didn't start by um, doing unintelligent things so we could kill it before it could hit something. <coughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, probably. Or, or not. Hmm, it's also, it also has other things with it. This top door is not openable, is it? No, it's not a door. Interesting. So, then. Nenyo. We should have taken Camilla with us. Yeah, I'll try. Okay, Aaron. Just do your healy healy thing again. Thank you. Then let's move on. I really, I really don't like this. I really don't want to move through there. Oh, stop it. We should save the game. We should save the game. Right here and now. Save game. Yes. Thank you. Normally at the end of each dungeon, there is a possibility to get out without getting through all the stuff behind you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's that? Looks interesting. It's ghouls. Ghouls are not that bad. I can recall that we could kill them easily. Level 2 on that's even only. Mm-hmm. Some more ghouls. Really? You rolled a one? <sighs> Another one. Cena killed a ghoul stalker. A lot of ghouls. Ah, come on. Can you please not? Do this. I 
Okay, you are going for this guy. Ah, this would be the first good, um, this would be quite interesting to see if we could, um, we have this, this nice new spell. Do we have to do it on a person? Yeah, see that you will you will live. You are just a bit of um what it called collateral damage. So, Darren, um, do you have anything against undead? Probably no. No, not really. I mean, we could do a prayer again. That's nice. This gives us some bonus and um, some minus. So it's okay, I guess. Oh, come on. Can you please show me how this looks like? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Take a five foot step and just kill the ghoul. Oh, and another bunch of ghouls getting there. I hope we get a lot of, um, a lot of XP out of that. Gain 27 XP. Yeah, at least that's, that's quite interesting. Nice. So, Regil, kill this guy. Pig. Let's see, life burst, life blast. Ooh, fancy. Did some damage, but it didn't kill them. Mm -hmm. It's a level 6 rogue and a level 2 undead. Hmm. Not too nice. Not too nice. Okay, then you're... How about the pit again? Like here. For all the people coming down there. This road. <laughs> Mm 
Mm-hmm. How about you? Do something like that. Do we really have to send it on a person? Okay, this was not that much of a damage. <laughs> this didn't work so well. Okay, another dead one. Len. Go a step back and a lot of ghouls. I hope they stop coming. Ooh, and there is the Nabazu, a Nabazu. Good. Or not good. Pig. Kill this huntsman. Thank you. Okay. No one's still there. Yes, it will. We nearly killed the Nabazu. Mm, let's kill it for real. How many? Six. Okay, this is overkill, I fear. But on the other hand, normally you wouldn't know that it's just six XP left, uh, six um, hit points left. Really? Two twos? No, you can't. Okay, what's this? Can't you just read it? No. Okay, move there. Come on, you don't have to do this. Pretty sure about that. So, pig, just kill this guy. Thank you. Looks like there are no more ghouls coming, but who knows? Who knows? And that's that. But there is still someone in the pit. Oh, I didn't want to open this. Sorry. So, moving inside again. Oh, come on. This game is really not, not okay. I 
Can you just please go there? Thank you. Okay, is there something interesting in there? No, I don't think so. Yep, nothing interesting. Okay, Darren, um, just move up front as well. And then, no, don't open this. <sighs> You do this on you. Okay, um... Huh? Is it outside? Already? No. Okay. Interesting. What's that? Nothing I fear. Hmm. Another elder frog? No. Yaniel! With her left hand, the old woman pulls the dagger from the demon's body. Exhausted by the effort, she wipes her brow. Time did not bend me, it seems. I will show you one of the secret old passages that were used when Citadel Dresden belonged to us. The woman walks up to the wall and begins examining it. You'll get to the Sword of Valor more easily this way. Perhaps the demons don't know about this passage. Uh, they had 70 years time to find it. The demons, if you think about it, I've spent most of my life among them. I have to admit, there's something mesmerizing about them. A single demon might be weak or pathetic or cowardly. But when you see them as a collective, it isn't a mass of separate creatures, but a single great force, a tide which might be temporarily slowed, but never stopped. The front lines of the abyss here on the lands of Galarian, unstoppable, fanatical, forward motion. We have something to learn from them, don't we? Good, evil is evil, there is no point in looking into it, or studying it, on that path you only risk poisoning your soul, or, evil, if I can use anything to my benefit, I will, including the knowledge of demons, their power and their methods. Or, it's always wise to learn new things, including studying the enemy's strengths. That's the neutral way, and we are the neutral guys. Knowledge is priceless. Civilization is curious by definition, and it becomes clear after the experiment that it was dangerous. The world should know about it. Otherwise, sooner or later, someone else will think of it, of this experiment, and conduct it again. I am of the opposite opinion. Such experimenters should be impaled on a stake. Every last one of them to once and for all purge the world of the idiots trying to destroy it. <laughs> the woman's face is still, but there is approval in her blue eyes. Right, knowledge is the greatest weapon. Armed with it, one can succeed where neither strength nor weather would. I like her. 
Here it is. The demons are hiding the sword of Vila behind this door. Be very. I heard them bragging about the traps that surround the banner. Magical, of course. The sword of Vila is nearly impossible to destroy. And it, if they wish, they will drown the entire room in fire, destroying their enemies while leaving their trophy unscathed. Go now, and good luck. But there is still one stupid ghoul here. We'll still have to fight it. Oh my god. So many dead bodies. Okay, let us get her into <laughs> into the pit again. Hey, <clears throat> she got around it. Thank goodness. Didn't get out. Uh, you know what? Let's just skip turn based mode for some time. Yeah, thank you. Stupid. How long does this? So first of all, let's turn based mode on again. Ah, no. Let's just get out of the fight. Okay, can we look at this? The dead bodies give off an unbearable stench. Really? You think so? What's this? A crack in the wall wrecks of something evil. For a moment you feel touched by the... Wait, what? Ah, why is this all gone then? Why did we... Something evil, for a moment you feel touched by the breath of the abyss. Okay. Wait, what? Why are you here? Please don't do this. Can we talk to her again? Okay. My dear friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we will go even further down the dungeons. Until then, see you. Bye.